Let's talk about your implants. Uh, as you know, we have brought attention to uh, breast implant awareness, and we had actually breast implant awareness week here at Jeff Lewis we, Live. We did. Without me? No, you were whole. You were the whole. I mean, you're you like the keynote the speaker. Okay, perfect. <laughs> yeah. So you've had implants for about twenty something years. Yes. And you finally decided that it is a good idea for you get to get them replaced. Right. And what I appreciate about you mm -hmm. is that you have taken active steps. You are being responsible, and you have done the due diligence, and you've met with a surgeon. Correct. Yes. What is happening? When is it happening? How big are we going? Oh my god. Are gosh. we doing silicone or saline? Are you doing a lift? I just have so many questions. Okay, so I set a date yesterday. Oh, good. Congratulations. Yay. Thank you. That's exciting. Wow, what's the date? February 27th. Oh, Great. What a good date. That's perfect. Really? It really is. I'm um, not great finally doing it. Podcast. Three months. All right, so what happens? Are they gonna they're gonna take out the implants? And remember Kat Dr. Cat was saying there needs to be a lot of cleanup, probably. Yeah, the scar tissue. They don't know what's in there till they get in there, basically. Okay. Um, so they're Obviously, he looked and felt, and he was like, ooh, okay. <laughs> um, so he's going to take them out, clean it up, um, put new implants in. I couldn't decide. He was showing me two different kinds, and he was like, do you want higher profile or moderate profile? Hmm. I didn't even know that was an what option. I didn't, I didn't either. And so he said, I said, well, I don't know what that means. Does what that mean do side boob? Yes, but side he said. Trendy. But he said you need some side boob because right now you're just all projecting out front because they're so hard. Right? I mean, he didn't say it in that way, but right. basically. But you knew what he was saying. Yeah, and you have nothing, which isn't natural, so you need a little something on the side. And he said, "I said okay, I don't." And he's telling me numbers. I'm like, "I can't work in numbers." He's showing me cups. If you fill it this much, it's this much in between the implant size. And I said, "I need something else I can put in my head that I can see." And he's like, like a real person. wardrobe. He's like wardrobe. Your wardrobe will be different. I said, okay, now you're talking my language. Tell me how. Yes. And he said, well, your wardrobe might have to change. And I was like, well, that's okay. All my stuff's old anyway. I said, I want to be able to dress sexy, but I want to be able to dress conservative and yes. not be like all boobs. Right. He's like, okay, exactly. You want moderate then. There okay, you go. so we're getting moderate implants, moderate. but what size? Because you're what, a double D now or a D? You're a full D. Okay, you know what? My doctor says that um, letters are irrelevant. They're relevant at Jeff Lewis Live. Okay. They're, they're so I told him I was relevant. a 32C, and he said, uh, those are Ds. But <laughs> I, I knew it. Oh, my God. I know my tits. You those really are Ds. Do. Full Ds. And I protested, and I said, they're absolutely not. And then I was like, well, I have had kids. I've gained weight. Okay, okay, fine. So he said, but it's irrelevant. Different places have different sizes. Anyway, the sizing I'm getting is a little bit bigger, but it what? won't look it. Because you're going to have it a little bit more wider. Wider. Uh, Fuller okay. shape. Fuller. So they'll actually look smaller, but fill out more. Now, nice. your, I love this plan. Your yes. breasts, they sit higher than Megan's do. So you probably don't need a lift. I need a lift. You need mm -hmm. a lift? That's what he said, yeah. Well, then, yeah. Megan, you well, need he, a... He Shut measured. up, Jeff. I already Overhaul. had a lift. <laughs> they, they pick <laughs> them up and measure where it should be, and he's like, they're falling here, they should be here. There's a lot of weight in there. Yeah. So unfortunately, I do need a lift. I I tried to protest. What about that as scars? Well. Scarring for the lift? That's what I said. Well, he goes in. So my scar for my implants were under my nipple, okay. like my nipple, the bottom part. Okay, fine. This scar will be on the top part of the nipple. Oh. Oh. And that's how he pulls it up. But that's all. So no anchor scar. No anchor scar. I didn't do I the anchor like, either. What'd you do? I did what the around the nipple. And how is it? It's good. You still have to wear a bra. But well, I'm, you didn't do a lift, did you? I did you? do a lift. I did the same lift she's doing. Oh, without, you should get your money back. Without the <laughs> Shut up, Jeff. I'm leaving. Why? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm also wearing a big chunky sweater. Wait, now have you heard of this new thing that not all doctors do where they go in and they put a mesh? I did that too. Oh, you did that. I did so the mesh. It's did like, every didn't work. Thing. It's, so it it's did like work. A, it's an internal bra. Yes, yeah. I got that. And it dissolves. Well, what's the point? You still got to wear a bra. No, you do because they look natural. They're like they're they're lifted up. They look natural they're, in a bra. They're rounded, and they, they look, look unnatural without a bra. Well, you should have seen it before the. They lift. look National Geographic you without should, a bra. They look National <laughs> Geographic before I had the lift. That's true. They used to drag on the floor. They really now did. they just sit right above your. It was waist. like a tennis ball in a tube sock. <laughs> 